Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com and in this video I'll show you a very basic method for implementing Glide or Portamento in your reactor projects. So to start with I have a very simple synth-ish setup here where I have a sawtooth with its amplitude controlled by an envelope and its pitch controlled by incoming MIDI data. In order to add Glide to this project, I'm simply going to run the pitch through a low-pass filter. Low-pass filter is going to take the incoming pitch values, and if they are changing rapidly from their current positions, it's simply going to slow down that transition uh, coming out the output of the filter. However, the filter is an audio rate module, and we can't connect it directly to the pitch input of our sawtooth. In order to get around this, I'm going to translate our pitch back into event rate using an A to E module, which you can find in the auxiliary menu. And at this point in time, we can control the speed of the glide using the P input of our low pass filter. And the values need to be much lower than when you create a default knob. Uh, I'm going to have a minimum of around negative 80 and a maximum of maybe 20 or so. And we can take a quick listen just to make sure that this works. Alright, so the one thing I want to change about this is I only want Glide to occur when we already have a note playing and a new one arrives. So in order to implement this, I'm going to use a selector scanner module to control the pitch input of our filter. If a note is already playing, then we'll let the glide knob control the um, input. And otherwise, we're just going to set it to a very high value, let's say 120. Now all we need to do is to control the position input of our selector module. I'm going to use the gate module to do this. We're going to compare the gate to zero. And this way, anytime the gate is on, it's going to have a value of 1, and we're going to store the value in a value module. And whenever a new pitch arrives, it'll ask if a gate is already playing. And if so, um, then we'll trigger the glide. If not, we won't. Alright, once again this is Salamander Anagram, and this has been a quick tips video from ReactorTutorials.com. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.